I'm Marianne Rizout coming to you from the IEEE booth at the 2012 Consumer Electronics Show in Las Vegas. IEEE is the world's largest technical professional association and we're here to talk about the biggest global trends in consumer electronics in 2012. Joining us is IEEE senior member Richard Doherty. Mr. Doherty, streaming web-based video on televisions has steadily gained popularity with customers, but in 2012 you said it will reach a tipping point. What is that point and what does it mean for consumers or businesses? Streaming video has started only about five or six years ago, uh, but the majority of households will enjoy streaming video on their big screen TV and smaller TVs. Uh, for the first time in 2012, it will be more than half of households that have access. Are you seeing differences in how web-based video on television is being embraced in different parts of the world? Oddly enough, uh, web video, streaming video, is doing very well in every geography. It really depends on your broadband. Uh, many parts of Eastern Europe have even better broadband than North America. Uh, many parts of Asia as well. So even where TV antennas and transmitters aren't established, uh, streaming video has now become the standard video. How does this tipping point impact the entertainment industry? The technology that engineers have delivered has moved far faster than any of them thought. And instead of being afraid of it as they were for a few years, now they're going, how do I embrace these audiences? How do I allow the director of this comedy to reach an audience with even more content after the broadcast time slot? What challenges remain to increase adoption of web-based video on television? The biggest challenges so far for web-based video are some of the cable operators in North America and abroad. Uh, because on an HBO service says, I want to give you HBO to go. People want the content they want, the business models will follow. But those are the sticking points right now. Mr. Doherty, fascinating trend. What else can we look forward to by way of trends in the future? Well, most of the trends for the CES show start with an IEEE conference called the Consumer Electronics Conference. And then we'll be learning in the next week about what's going to be hot here in 2013 and 2014. Uh, because men and women and the students that attend there really do define the magic that's possible in technology even before big companies like Samsung and Sony adopt it. Mr. Doherty, thank you for joining us. You're welcome. And there you have it, one of the latest trends you can expect to see in consumer electronics this year. And to hear more about the latest trends here at CES from IEEE, go to facebook.com slash IEEE org.